you ain't mad at us right now, you're going to be mad at us later. So we're going to make you leave. There's another two. One, there's another one right Do there. Do not right move. My brothers and I were contacted by Jason Bailey from Summersville, West Virginia. Jason claims he is under attack by multiple demonic entities. Over the past year, Jason has been sharing his paranormal experiences on his TikTok page, where he has gained a large audience eager to watch his story. Spirit tool. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I was using it, and I mean, they were coming through clear. I, just everything I asked, they were coming in. And uh, I went, I'll show you this video. This is the thing. This is when it really started. Yeah, right there. The light. Is that you? I went to a psychiatrist because I thought I was going crazy. And they released me. She told me there was nothing I could do. The bishop is wanting to do an exorcism on me. The reason I contacted you all is because no matter what I've done, I can't get rid of it. And I've, I have tried everything. Back in 2006, my dad died. It really messed with me. Like, I was trying to kill myself pretty much. I, I turned to pills and it didn't matter how many I did. I. I've overdosed several times and I always came back. After that happened, one of my friends that lives right down at the end of the park here, he shot himself with a 22 in the head and it killed him. Well, me, him, and his wife were all pretty good friends and she wanted me to come down and stay with her a couple nights because she was upset. So I did and we were, we were laying there. I, that was about 2, 2.30, something like that. She had dozed off. She was on the couch. Well, I was on the floor on a mattress. And next thing next thing you know, her bedroom door got kicked open. So I got her up, and we went back there and shut the door. No sooner than we got back in the living room, it did it again. Five, ten minutes after that, we felt a cold breeze just engulf us. Well, I shut my eyes and was starting, starting to go to sleep to be woken up by some something had a hold of my calf pulling me down off the mattress and I couldn't see what it was. I left and never never went back until people wanted me to go see if it was still there and I did. Well, I saw it. It was in the window. There was a dark entity there watching me. Then I went to the cemetery. Came back here and I started noticing things. It didn't really bother me that stuff was here until it started physically attacking me. When I lay down at night, it, it crawls all over me. It seems like at night when I lay down is when it bothers me the most. And I left here the other night and went to her mom's. And when I did that, it followed me there, but it didn't have the power over me that it has here. It has way more power here than what it does anywhere else I go. She tells me just to not think about it, and I can't. I can't. You know, I mean, when when stuff's coming at me at all angles, I mean, I never knew that I had this ability, and I don't even know how I unlocked it, but I wish I wouldn't have. I don't recommend opening your third eye to any anybody. If, if, if that's what they want to do, I would recommend not doing it unless you... If you do, you better be prepared. It'll lean lean from around the corner right there and watch while Caleb's in bed. And I don't know what I did cause them to come flooding in like that. Having a lot more faith in God and, you know what I mean? I mean, that's the only thing that I've found so far that helps. Because when you first contacted us, it seemed like you felt that you and your family were in danger. Yes. I noticed the more that I try to figure out what it is, it's like the stronger it gets. I can be going to sleep and feel something like physically holding me to where I can't even take a breath. There's been a couple times I almost didn't get loose from it. I mean, and it's told me that it was going to kill me. It's a blue spirit with like devil horns. So I don't know. Everybody told me that that was an angel. I said, no, angels don't attack you. With them telling me that they were going to kill me and then that happening to where I couldn't breathe, that's happened three or four times. I'll get myself woke up 
it's like they get a psychic connection with me somehow, and I don't know how they do it, but really was driving me crazy at first. I, I was ready to go lock myself up. Then everybody else that had seen, that had seen the videos, confirmed that what what they saw is what I saw. Whatever it is, is really powerful. Like that's why I called you guys. I really, I really just need some peace, man. It, it, all the way around. It's it's messing our whole life life up. And you were worried about us being in danger coming here. Yes, like when people come around, it tends to follow them. And that's why, that's why I was telling you ahead of time just to, I, I just wanted you to know, man, because I'd feel horrible. You know what I mean? Y'all are good guys. I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want anything to happen to you. I don't want anything to happen to anybody. I don't know. It's breaking me down. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay strong, but it's really hard whenever, whenever you're being attacked mentally nonstop and then it's causing arguments between my fiance and me that that drains me even more when i feel them crawl up me it feels like a spider web crawling up my arm i don't know what that is i, I mean maybe some kind of energy yeah hit my elbow right there it wasn't even like uh yeah, like when you have like a muscle spasm or something. Yeah, they do, and it, there is one. There's one right there. You need to listen to me. We we don't need to stay here until we get help. I would die for either one of them, and if it's my fault that I brought it in, then I'm not gonna leave them here with it and me not be here. I feel bad enough for bringing it in, and I, man, that never was my intent. You know what I mean? I was trying to help people. I wasn't seeking anything dark. I, I was trying to, for one, I was I was trying to talk to my dad, and and I never dreamed in a million years that something this dark would follow me home. That's when I told you to be careful, which I have 100% faith in y'all. I really do. I mean, I just wanted to be straight up honest. He said, well, the major issue is that I would have to go to your home and perform the minor rite of exorcism. It is to expel any evil that is there. But this is what I want you to do first. And then he gave me the paranormal clergy. Mm -hmm. He said, and tell them that you spoke to me and request a team to come out to investigate. And I told him I would. So what we can do tonight is, you know, we'll do our investigation do the cleansing the way we do and then that way you'll have you know if there is something in the house you'll have documentation other than what you already have that you can give to the clergy and then you know we'll do cleansings and we can bless you and bless the home and all that yeah. stuff but as far as exorcisms and yeah I know. casting demons out of people it's just not something that we do but i think it'll be good for us to document whatever's in here yes find out what you're up against I do too. Now, I'm kind of scared to say its name, but um, I don't just should, should I just say it? Just say it. Bune, B U N E, and he has, which would explain a lot because he has armies of um, demons that will make people go crazy. It says, Bune is known as a duke who is able to move the dead. He may appear as a three-headed dragon with one head be being human. Yep. Which gives him additional powers. The devil gathers around graves and making... And that's... And you said you went out to the cemetery and did some stuff out there. Yep. A lot of times I hear something... It's either a person with cowboy boots on or it's something with hoof feet walking through here and when i'm laying down at night i can hear and it'll stop right at the foot of my bed i can feel the covers tightening around me and that's when it starts um like sucking energy from me i guess but anytime i cleanse or 
try to make them leave. It's like they get pissed off. I can hear them land on the damn roof. And it's like they'll land at a, on a certain spot on my roof and just come down. The curtain will move. <laughs> I've never seen demons that are this, this brave. I've been messing around with investigations for a long time. But I figured out how to see their makeup, like what they are. I see past their shadow person. Like I see what they are, like what they're made of. I know that that sounds crazy, but, and I didn't start seeing them until a month ago. But like I said, I had been cleared. My doctor told me I needed a priest, not a, not a physician. I mean, have you been checked out yes. as far as mentally that you're not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had an appointment the day before yesterday. And the doctor told me, she said, well, you're free to go. She said, you've been honest with me about everything. And she said, you're thinking rationally. I think you're right. You need to find a priest. I mean, I realize I've got a bad past. But surely I didn't do something to make God that mad at me. You know what I mean? And that demon needs to let me go. The more I fear it, the more damage it does. Could that mean that they're after the souls of sinners? I mean, that's the only thing. And I know, I, I, I'm just trying to be completely honest with you. They have told me and shown me some of the craziest shit, like unimaginable things. And I haven't told anybody because I don't want, because I know how that makes me look. And I know I know if somebody told me that, I'd, I would second guess them. But, I mean, I have nothing to gain from lying about this stuff. Any place that evil has ever like really bad evil, they leave a stain, a literal stain on the ground. Well, good luck, guys. I appreciate y'all. And everybody go follow Paranormal Nightmare on TikTok. Okay, so we just wrapped up the interviews. We're going to start the investigation. We're going to try to get Jason and his family some help. A lot of crazy stuff going on here. They hear footsteps, dark shadows. Jason feels that something demonic is attached to him. When he's sleeping in this bed, he feels something crawl up on the bed and attack him. And he's even got physical marks on his body from whatever's inside this house. He seems to think there's some portal that's been opened. He's done several investigations over the years and he feels that something's attached itself to him. Even during the interview, I felt something hit my elbow super hard. What about the salt? Yeah, and then he put salt on the floor, which I thought was crazy to begin with, because he said like footsteps and faces and stuff appear in the salt. And he just put the salt down and spread it out. And sure enough, there was like this demonic face, looked like a skeleton face in the middle of the salt. See? Right there. You can see that one way better. I never even touched the, uh... yeah, come here, you can see his face. See it? Mm -hmm. I can see it with my naked eye, but I don't know if my camera is picking it up. Now you tell me that ain't f***ing odd. It doesn't matter where I do it, and the longer I leave the salt there, the more defined that face will get. It looks like a demon. Yeah, that's what I'm... Man, thank you. That's what I've been trying to tell people. Any spirits inside this house? My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Sean. We're here to communicate with you tonight. Jason said that you attack him and that he can see you. Can you come out so we can see you? Is there a demonic presence inside this house? Sean. Don't smell. Is that in here with us? Okay. Do something loud and let us know that you're in here. Who is in this house? What is in this house? I 
I've got a device right here. If you walk up, it'll let us know that you're near us. If you're demonic, I know you're not afraid of us. That's walking inside. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Hit something and let us know where you're at. We're not afraid of you. But you need to be afraid of us. Are you moving back here? Who touched me earlier? We're not leaving until you show yourself. Sean, let me see that for a second. He said when a lot of this started, he was down at a friend's house down the street here, and his friend committed suicide with a 22, and then they started to experience things down there, and then he did some investigating, and then came back down here, and then things started here. And I won't tell you what the name of the guy is until we run a spirit box session, and just see if his name comes across. Too. Is there anybody here that was friends with Jason? If you're the one that killed yourself, can you please tell me your name? I got a device here you can talk through. Are you here to get his attention? Can you tell me if you're male or female? He says you leave marks on him. What are they from? Did you come from another place? Say something on this device if you're in this room with me. Do you want us to leave this place? Tell me your age, how old you are. Why are you trying to get Jason's attention for? Looks like his faint voice. I mean, it's real, real muffled. I mean, disrespectful. Even... You're being disrespectful. Anyways, it sounds like it said, I love Jason. Hmm. But it, it's real, like, real faint. I didn't know if you were going to even hear it. Do you love Jason? Was Rocky being disrespectful? Jason said that you was going to hurt us if we stayed here. Is that true? Are you in this room with us? 
You said something one time with this device. Can you do it again? Tell me your name. At the door. Mm -hmm. Something at the door. That's what I was Gary trying to shut this thing off. Like somebody freaking pushed my head. Hey, by there. Yeah. Didn't sound like somebody pushed on it. Like it kind of opened. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that door? like somebody's side. Mm -mm. It was real loud. It was in here. Is it out there? It's not like walking in here though. It's not like somebody kicked the door. What? Yeah, that sounds weird. your name is. What's that dad? So it looked like somebody walked like a shot and went through that picture and blocked it out. The left picture is the far left one where you can, I can kind of see the window. It does. It's kind of weird. It almost seems like you see shadows with the side of your eye. Is your name Doug? Tell me what your name is. Truthful. Say Sean if you want to talk to me. Was you Jason's friend? Yep. Yes. Can you speak up when you talk to me a little bit? How did you die? Was there anybody there with you? Said yes. Did you shoot yourself? Are you trying to hurt Jason? Why don't you go to heaven? Is there a reason that you're staying here? Are you trying to take over Jason's body? You want Jason to die? Are you scared because you can't hurt me? Sounded like it said gun again. Do you want to hurt me? How are you going to hurt me? Can you say Josh's name? Do you want one of us to stay in this house by herself? Are you a demon? Yes or no, does Josh scare you? No. John, let me sit in here for a few minutes with Trigger. We'll set up cameras. Okay, it's just me in here right now. I got my friend Trigger here. He's going to ask you some questions. If you can communicate with us. 
with me. One, two, three, four. Can you tell me what two plus two is? Whatever's inside this house, I command you, show yourself. Like something touched my ear. Did right. you say something? Could you please say it again? Did you just touch me? Come on, you want to pick on Jason? Why don't you come in here and pick on me? Can you finish this? Oh, no Aww, way. Aw, thanks. That was a loud response right over here. Got a car passing outside. Can you make a noise for me? I don't think you're a demon. Can you tell me a secret? I like What's that. that. Holy. Come on, big buddy. That was freaking loud. <laughs> Are you back here? Did you say something? Could you please say it again? I heard you. Aw, thanks. I like holding hands with you. Right. I like hugs. Okay, big buddy, you're gonna go off for a second, buddy. Sorry. I need you to be quiet for one second. You just sat right there. I heard you. Come out and let me see you. It is cold back here. I'm going to try to scoot over so you can see down that hallway. Dude, that was so freaking loud. And it was right behind me. I know at one point you were alive. We're trying to figure out when you die and you pass away. Are you stuck here or can you come and go as you please? You know what it's like to be alive. Why are you here? Did the devil send you? I'm going to use holy water inside this house. And I'm going to force you to leave. So far we've definitely heard walking, knocking, Responsive knock to trigger, and then whatever the hell was behind me that made that real loud noise. Are you a bad spirit? I'm going to send Sean in here. Okay, I'm going to step out and leave Trigger running. Count with me. One, two, three, four.
So I got a trigger here. I got the ghost tube app running. We're going to see if we can pick up on anything that Josh heard. I think Josh said he heard some knocks. If there's somebody in here with me and Trigger, can you tell me your name? Do you have more friends we could play with? I was tapping. Do you know what time it is? It's only me and Trigger right here. Aw, thanks. I like holding hands with you. Did something touch your hand, Trigger? I think for that to say that, I think you have to touch Trigger's hand. Can you touch my hand? Are you here to hurt us? Or hurt Jason? Your favorite food. Are you here to hurt us or hurt Jason? Mm, I like music. What music do you like? Sounds like there's something right there. Can you knock on something? I'm gonna sound like there's footsteps behind me. What's your favorite story? Are you alone in this house? Are you a demon? What's your favorite color? For some reason I just started getting chills. Or if that means I'm not alone now. I swear I keep hearing something. It's either coming from this room over here or like right behind me. So I don't know if watch something just walk out of that room. Count with I'll me. One, take off two, running. three, four. Bad. That was scared the living shit out of me. Come up and touch my shoulder. If you're beside me or behind me. Oh, Jesus. Can you tell me what two plus two is? I got a device here. I can see you if you come in here. Come up to me. You can go up to Sean if you want.
Josh, you got that running? Come back here. I thought I swear I just thought I seen something. Let that go into that boy's room. It was almost like what he talked about something peeking around the corner. Can you show yourself in the hallway? We can see you if you walk out. Where are you hiding? Stay right there, Rocky. Let me see if I can map you. Go stand next to Rocky. You can come up and touch my hand. You don't have to be afraid. Walk back to your left. My bathroom. Where are you at? Are you over by Sean? Show yourself. Don't be afraid. If you're demonic, you shouldn't be afraid. We can't hurt you. You've already faced your judgment. We just want to kick you out of this house. You ain't mad at us right now. You're going to be mad at us later. So we're going to make you leave. No way. What? It's sitting in that chair. Don't move. Next to me? There's two. Do not move. Holy I'm not even picking you up, Josh. I'm picking a green and a purple one up. Wow. Can you tell me your name? My name is Josh. Were you the one that touched me earlier? Can you touch my arm? Oh, it just went away, that one. The other one's still there. Reach your hand out towards the chair. The left chair. Ask if that one can reach its arm out like you're doing. Can you reach your arm out like I'm doing? Are you trying to grab my bear? His name's Trigger. Where's it at? Oh, that little table right there. Walk towards Trigger. It's right in front of Trigger. I got Trigger. You want to touch him? Take Trigger over the table and just set him on the table. See if he'll walk over the whistle. I'm going to set Trigger right there. Can you walk over to Trigger? Okay, so we got Jason back in the house. We're going to get ready and start the cleansing. We just wrapped up the investigation and we're going to go back to Ohio and we're going to spend the next couple of days going over everything. During the cleansing, we'll just move from room to room and seal off each room if you feel anything or want to say anything. We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, I ask that you defend us as we enter into battle and be our protection against anything wicked and evil. In the name of the Father, we ask that you please watch over Jason 
and anything that may be attached to Jason, you drive it away from him, drive it out of his life and out of this house. We cleanse Jason with the holy water, the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you just protect Jason and his family and keep them safe. Any portals that may have been opened or any doorways, we ask that you seal them tight with the blood of Jesus and the sign of the cross. It's, it, it feels lighter in here. I've been having a really heavy feeling around me, especially in this room. So Lord, we seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We seal this mirror with the blood of Jesus. Any doorways or portals that are open inside this house, we seal them tight forever with the blood of Jesus Christ and the sign of the cross. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit to fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Let there be no dark place for the evil ones to hide. We seal this bed with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any negative spirits or demonic spirits that's been affecting Jason and his family, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. It is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who reigns over this house now. In the name of Jesus, we command that you leave. Any portals that are open inside this room, we seal it tight in the name of Jesus. I command you leave this house, leave this family. If you're a demonic entity, you have faced your judgment, you must leave. It is Jesus who is more powerful than you. We seal this door with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. All spirits, you must leave this house. Go be at peace or go face judgment. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. Lord, we ask you to push out all the negative energy inside this house. Lord, we seal Caleb's room with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you please watch over Caleb and keep him safe. You all right? My ankle's getting really hot. I don't know if you... Any negative spirits that are affecting Jason, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over Jason now. You can no longer affect him. Leave Jason now. It's cooling down. It's getting better? Yeah, it's cooling down. Tell him to leave your house. Leave my house. Leave your life. Leave my life. Leave this house. I just recently turned to God. Well, right after all this happened, I went my whole life not even really acknowledging him and now he's the I, I honestly believe he's the only reason i'm still alive mm -hmm. because they have told me that they want me dead everybody was put here for a purpose and it doesn't matter what mistakes you make throughout your life you know you just have to realize that you know god gave you one life to live and you just have to live that to your fullest potential let go of the past, all yeah. that negative stuff, and just move forward. So I'm really thankful for you guys. We appreciate you calling us. And I feel like God gave me a platform for for me to do something with, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, I didn't know you. Y'all you, were like the first big, big YouTubers that I had ever talked to, and you actually talked to me, mm -hmm. and that's been several months ago. So I kind of go... I go by that rule. I mean, I'm not better than anybody else out there. Yeah. And if they need something, I'm going to try to help them. You know, we've always been humble, yeah. even as we've grown on YouTube and social media and stuff, is we never forget where we came from and why yeah. we do this.